I was saying that what is witchcraft? Witchcraft is not a bird flying. Mm. Witchcraft is not somebody drinking blood or somebody eating meat. No, mm -hmm. it's part of it, but it's larger than that. Witchcraft is a system and operates by a witch who have an altar. Mm -hmm. Without an altar, a witch cannot program the system. Mm -hmm. So they program it through their altar to affect you. Mm -hmm. It's a system. Mm -hmm. And the moment the system is done, you don't need anybody to fly to come and catch you. Mm -hmm. All you need is that, all they need is that just program the system mm -hmm. and the system begin to work. Now, how did they program the system? That's what we are teaching you. Read the, the, the quotation that we read the other day in the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. And we are going to do it like we did. They, 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 it's good. See, Doc, if you read the Bible, mm -hmm. look at what happened to Adam and Eve. Yes. The first man and the first woman. Mm -hmm. They were in the garden. Everything yes. was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the agent of witchcraft appeared. Mm -hmm. God said, do not eat this. Mm -hmm. See, always they will make you to step over the word of God, mm -hmm. to disobey the word of God. That's why the book of Samuel said, disobedient is as sin as so witchcraft. witchcraft. Mm -hmm. The moment Eve and Adam disobeyed God, God. Mm -hmm. they were sacked from the garden. Yes. Yes. They are original. Mm -hmm. Why God created them was changed. Was changed. Mm -hmm. And Bible said, you will toil before you eat. Mm -hmm. You will suffer in your husband. Mm. Mm. You will suffer in your marriage. Mm. That's why he said to Eve. Mm. Look at how the enemy is tormenting us. Mm -hmm. If your husband or your wife don't suffer you, mm -hmm. your children suffer you. So fast. One way or the other, you will cry in marriage. Mm -hmm. Look at what happened to Naomi. He was in his country. P things are happening. Yes, A momentary problem appeared. That's mm. right. And he went looking for solution. <laughs> he lost the husband, mm -hmm. lost the children. Lost the yeah. children. Always witchcraft system come into play when we are looking for solutions. Mm -hmm. When you were sick, where did they took you? you when your father was looking for solution, where did he went? Mm -hmm. When your mother was trying to protect the marriage, where did she go? Mm -hmm. When you were coming here, where did they took your passport? Mm -hmm. Where did you go and bath? Mm -hmm. My friend, Pastor Mo was telling me I met a young boy who was supposed to play football mm -hmm. Brother Alfred, they took him, they bought him to come and play football in Europe, mm -hmm. they took this young boy tear the head of the chicken six, six, um, pigeons, pigeons, seven, pigeons, seven pigeons and they bath him mm -hmm. Today with, the the boy is, with the blood of the pigeon mm -hmm. today the boy is doing car wash I'm not saying car wash is not good but mm -hmm. somebody who is supposed to be a mm -hmm. footballer, footballer I believe that that young boy would have become one of those people that win African Cup of Nations mm -hmm. But today, others are celebrating. He is washing the car. Mm. Mm. Why? The system changed his life. Mm. Naomi, a momentary problem came. Mm. He was, she was looking for solution. Mm. To, he said, I went in full. I came in empty. Mm. Mm. Don't call me pleasant. Call me bitterness. Look at what is happening to you. I want you to take your phone and call this time. I want to pray for you. Send me only text message. On the mobile phone 0795070185. Call me only on 0207923254920277248804. 0207724804. Call me on these numbers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where you went seeking for solution. Mm -hmm. I want I don't know what happened to you. Why you are going through where, what you are going through. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are watching me. They gave you incision on your face. They gave you incision on your hands. Mm -hmm. They gave you incision on top of your head. They gave you incision all over your waist. Why did they do that? I want to know. Call me quickly. Maybe they manipulated you. They took you to the forest. They buried your picture. They, they asked you to do certain things in the night. There was a lady who came to my church from Luton. Mm -hmm. She said they took her to a cemetery. Mm -hmm. And they bathed her. Mm -hmm. And the man, after bathing and the man said, massage my manhood. Mm -hmm. And the, when the sperm came, they used the sperm to rub her body, to rub her body like a mm -hmm. cream. To protect, her. to protect her. If you see this beautiful girl, mm. cannot marry and has not married. Mm. It's a witchcraft manipulation. manipulation. Why did they took you to a cemetery? Mm. I was in Italy. A young girl who was married for seven, eight, nine years, no baby. Mm -hmm. And this girl, I love that girl and the husband so much. Every prayer I know, I pray for them. Mm. I say, God, I'm going to sit on their chair. I tell them to go mm -hmm. because I was doing a program there. You go work. I'm sitting here. Whatever we don't know, tell us. Tell us. Mm. 
Hmm. Dog, I was sitting in the chair and I just fell in a trance. And suddenly God showed me a young girl about nine years. Hmm. They carry her in the bucket with the water and they pour it on the cemetery. And they give her something like an egg. They say scra uh, 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 smash, smash it. it. And she smite the thing on the, on the cemetery, mm -hmm. the grave cement. Mm -hmm. I just wake up. I write it down. I don't want to forget. Mm -hmm. When the husband came, I say, Sister, listen to me. Have you ever gone to a cemetery to do a ritual? She said, no, Pastor, I didn't know I was born again. And suddenly she said, yes. When I was a child, mm -hmm. they bathed me and put it on a pot. And they carried it on my head. Mm -hmm. My father's sister was a fetish priest. Mm -hmm. And they took me to a cemetery and they gave me egg to smash it. Mm. And I did. When my mother had it, my mother took me from that place. And my mother was born again. It was, I was about nine, ten years. Mm. Since then, I said, that is your children. Mm. I took the girl. We bought an oil with the husband. Mm. The husband was angry. Why, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you? I said, no, this is not angry time. Let's go. <laughs> Doc, I took this girl and we went to a cemetery near that place. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Italy. Mm -hmm. And we speak to the cemetery mm -hmm. today by prophetic declaration. Jesus. Whatever you have stolen from this girl, yes. we are imagine we are standing on that cemetery, yeah. mm -hmm. and I retrieve the productivity, That's right. the egg that speak to yes. about her children mm -hmm. that she has smashed. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost, locate it mm -hmm. and release it now. <laughs> all, all the oil there. As I'm talking, the girl have three children. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. All you Amen. need is knowledge. knowledge. Yes. What have you done? Mm -hmm. You've gone to a place, they ask you to bring a coconut. And they say, break it. And you broke it, and the water fall, pour out. Mm. You don't know it's your destiny. Mm -hmm. Where did I ask you to read? Read that place for me before we talk. Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. Verse 33. Yes. He said, Either make the tree good. Either make the tree good. And his fruit good. And his fruit will be good. Or else make the tree corrupt. Or else make the tree corrupt. And his fruit corrupt. And the fruit will be corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. Did you hear that? Mm. Every tree is mm. known by the. So one of the secrets of witchcraft is that they polluted your parents. Mm. And your parents gave birth to you. To you. There are certain family people died at a particular age. Mm -hmm. Nobody crossed 50 years. They are particular family, they marry quick, they divorce quick. Mm -hmm. They are particular family, they won't marry until they are 45 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are particular family, they when they are 30 years, they are mega rich. Mm -hmm. But nobody crossed 50 years, 60 years with riches. Mm -hmm. It's a system in the family. Mm -hmm. There are certain family first born don't prosper. Mm -hmm. Why? The system has been programmed there. I want to pray for you quickly. Call the number quickly. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. You know, um, as I'm talking now, the, if you need, if, if you want to ask any question, we're going to do it like yesterday one. Mm -hmm. You know, Doc, we are talking about the system yes. of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. The system. We want to go to the point. Yes. The system. Could mm -hmm. you look at this camera here and tell them what are some of the system that manipulate humanity into bondage? The system of witchcraft. Yes. It, the demonic assignments mm -hmm. by any altar mm -hmm. is a program. Yeah. And it is a program with a mandate. Yeah. How can we mm -hmm. take the destiny yes. of this family? Mm -hmm. And every altar <clears throat> that has such an assignment has an interest yeah. to steal your destiny. That's it. And they will create and program a system to mm -hmm. make sure that they have done so. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they will give you a sickness in the family. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the solution to that sickness yes. is you will go to, to the witch nearest doctor. witch doctor yes. for, a fetish a, for a fetish priest a for a solution. Mm -hmm. And when you go, mm -hmm. this is where they will take the destiny of a child. Mm -hmm. They will take the destiny of a, your marriage. Mm -hmm. They will take the destiny of your, your finances. Mm -hmm. And as you are engaging in the rituals mm -hmm. that they are giving you, mm -hmm. You are also exchanging and trading because your destiny. on your destiny, on oh. every evil altar, mm -hmm. there is an exchange that yes, goes sir. on. Yes, you don't go to any altar mm -hmm. and just go give. Mm -hmm. Even in the altar of God, he mm -hmm. said, give and it shall be given unto you. Okay. Now, now the, the question here, we want to mm -hmm. go quick. The question here is that, when, can you explain this thing? I want to ask this thing, simple. So, mm -hmm. When they take your hair, yes. they take your fingernail, mm -hmm. what does it represent? In the spiritual, maybe somebody is watching. Mm -hmm. They might manipulate her to take her hair, mm -hmm. or her fingernails, mm -hmm. or her clothes. Mm -hmm. What does it represent in the spiritual realm? 
so long as you are at the altar, mm -hmm. there is, as I was saying, there is an exchange that must take place. Yes. One of the exchange must make sure that there is a point of contact that connects you to the altar. Yeah. And the point of contact they are looking for is a point of contact mm -hmm. that can identify you. Yeah. Identification comes mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. your blood, mm -hmm. which is what the altar needs. Yeah. Yeah. Your blood is represented by your nails. Yes, sir. Your I'm blood is talking. represented that by is, your that hair. Is, that is the, the your blood is represented by your skin. <laughs> Be, listen, mm -hmm. if you commit a crime here mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. by your fingernail, mm -hmm. by your blood sample, mm -hmm. by your fingerprint, yeah. you travel 10,000 miles they away, can catch you. they can catch you, they mm -hmm. will locate you. Okay. Mm -hmm. The altar has the same mandate. Yes, sir. That because your blood is now, represented... That is, the, that is the answer I need. Because your blood is represented, mm -hmm. the system mm -hmm. is provided. Pastor, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You realize that mm -hmm. they created the situation for no. you to bring your child so see, that they can see, get the label see, see, you are, and the are, identification of are the child. Talking, we are talking to people that are not mature like you are mature. <laughs> yes. So we want to bring it to people level yeah. that people can catch it simply. Yes. I'm an affront place man, so I'm not too intellectual. <laughs> so I want you to break it down that if you bring your hair, it like you are saying, it means that your blood is in their coven. It's mm -hmm. in their coven. And what wherever is a system they program yes. to know you. To know you. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Now let me go to Pastor Rachel here. That you 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 say something that Doctor, you said when they take your hair, mm -hmm. when they take your fingernail, yes. when they take your clothes, yes. it represents your blood. Mm -hmm. When they wash you mm -hmm. and even give you a bath, mm -hmm. the washing and the rinsing yeah. takes your skin, yes. which still has your DNA in okay. it. So, and they can still use it on the altar. Now, when it is on your altar, mm -hmm. what are the effects of this things? Well, so long as they can get those things on the altar, yes, sir. the point of contact by these things, mm -hmm. allow them to locate you no <laughs> matter where you are. So, Travel 10,000 miles so away, the they can locate you. the first thing is that for them to have access, access location to you. Location mm. to you. And then the ability now, to manipulate you. Listen here. Maybe you are watching me. Mm. This man is a very intelligent man, a clever man. As he said it, maybe they have given incision. Mm -hmm. Take your blood. They have you've gone to a place they have washed you. Mm. He said they get your skin. Listen here. Maybe they have taken your fingernail, your hair. Mm -hmm. Send me a text message. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Call the number quickly. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. So that anything they had in their register mm. represent you. Mm. Holy Ghost will locate you and yes. abort it abort in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Call the number Amen. quickly. Yes. Pastor Rachel, one thing I want you to say before I go to Pastor Fred, Mr. Fred and Pastor Bola is very important here. Now, Dr. De Talk said, mention a little piece of blood. Mm -hmm. What is the importance of blood? Like when somebody go to a place, they give you incision. Why? What, what is the most important thing about witchcraft taking the blood? Papa, mm -hmm. I think you taught us the other day yes. that when God created man, yes. man was like a statue. <laughs> There was nothing, there was nothing there was like nothing. intestines, there was nothing like this. It's true. But immediately God breathed, breathed into man. <laughs> now, hmm. immediately blood entered. Blood, yes. Uh, liver came. Liver came. Good. Intestines came. Intestine. Everything came. Your heart. So, your all womb. the womb Your came. kidney. That's right. Your pancreas. Everything Your came. bone. Mm -hmm. Everything, your marrow mm -hmm. came yes. through the yes. blood. Through the blood. Mm -hmm. So, all the body is sustained by the blood. Yes, sir. So, all that they need is the blood yes sir so even if they get your hair is the like doctor is said they have gotten your blood mm -hmm. so wherever you go they will be able to locate you mm -hmm. and and by what you have taught that blood has a voice yes sir mm -hmm. so immediately they get your blood mm -hmm. wherever you go mm -hmm. it becomes a voice against you now did you hear that wherever you go i like that it become a voice, a voice against you against Wherever you go, mm. it becomes a voice against you. Now, Pastor Bola, yes, there is different type of blood. Yes. Human blood, mm. animal blood, chicken blood, mm -hmm. and egg, yes. libation. All in the spiritual represent blood. Mm. Now, maybe somebody think that so far as they have not given me incision, mm. it does not affect me. Though mm. I took a chicken. Mm -hmm. How can you talk to somebody like that? The Bible says mm -hmm. the thief came to steal, yeah. kill, and destroy. Yeah. But Jesus came to give us life, a little bit and louder. life in abundance. Mm -hmm. Brethren, the blood, mm -hmm. whether you go to give it or not, mm -hmm. 
whether you are at the altar or not, mm -hmm. they can still get the blood mm -hmm. in whichever way they want to get it. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. feeding in the dream. Yeah. When they mate with you in the dream, mm -hmm. of course, exchange of yeah. Yeah. fluid. The blood mm -hmm. has been transferred. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Also, mm -hmm. Papa, mm -hmm. God reminded me something mm -hmm. when we were coming. Mm -hmm. There was a lady that um, got married. Mm -hmm. And they gave them a gift. Mm -hmm. Ask me what the gift was. Mm -hmm. A pregnant goat was the gift Jesus. for the wedding. In their wedding. For okay. the wedding. Okay. Twelve years, mm -hmm. no baby. All right. Mm -hmm. God now reminded her and said, "Go and watch the video of your wedding day." Mm -hmm. She just knew, she didn't know, and who brought the gift? Mm -hmm. An in-law. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was when she was watching the video, she now saw the goat. And the goat was They pregnant. brought it in. Uh -uh. And they tie it, and she said, ah, "This goat is." That was the point of contact to tie the wound forever. Jesus. And they went for the deliverance, and that same month, mm. she conceived. Ha! Now listen to me. Did you hear that? Mm. Mm. Our spiritual father was preaching in our church, and he was talking about witchcraft manipulation. Mm. Yes. And he said, somebody was doing a wedding, and the gift was a. Um, Yes. No, um, a, 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 an orange, orange. Yeah, and orange. the seed of the orange mm -hmm. is that is dry. Mm. The woman they personally give it to this lady, that is the womb. Mm. The seed is dry, so the womb couldn't break oh. until mm. it is broken. Mm -hmm. All these things are the system. The system. Mm -hmm. The system. A young boy came to our church, and we pray for. It was not long. The boy died. I was so angry with this boy. Anytime we are doing church, where is the boy? They say the boy is gone. Mm. I said, don't you know you are dying? Don't. Mm. I haven't seen an eye so yellow like that. Mm. Why? He went to a place. They gave him a dirty water mm -hmm. to drink mm. 20 years ago. Mm. And after 20 years, he saw the same dream mm. in the village that he was drinking that dirty water. And he was sick. Mm. I want to pray for you. Maybe you are watching me. You dream, like Pastor Bola said, you saw yourself eating. You saw yourself being injected. Mm -hmm. You saw yourself drinking water, dirty water. All these things are demonic system mm -hmm. to program to your body and deal with you. Now, Papa Fred, you, yesterday you were saying something to me, mm -hmm. which was very, very powerful. That you went to my spiritual father, where I was born in the church, born again. And you contact, you pray. Now, the purpose of going there is for you to contact something. Yes, sir which you did it positively yes sir so how does it relate to somebody who go to a satanic agent mm. the bible says the altar of god mm -hmm. brings blessings to the children of god yes sir the opposite is that the altar of the, the devil fetish priest, mm -hmm. the amarula, the, 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 the witches and the wizards, they, they bring the opposite. Mm -hmm. So if I went for the blessing of God from the altar of God, yes, sir. and you visited a witch doctor, mm -hmm. don't think you are receiving any blessing from that witch doctor. Mm -hmm. That which is given to you yes. temporarily, mm -hmm. you would think it's a blessing, mm -hmm. but the end thereof, it's a way of death. The end thereof, mm -hmm. you can't handle it. No. no. You know, when I went to Ghana, I went to my father mm -hmm. and I said, Papa, mm -hmm. some things are happening in the family house I that don't I it. don't understand. Mm -hmm. You are over 75, so you know some things. Hey, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> when you met my mother, what did you see? <laughs> what made her attracted to you? <coughs> my father blew my mind and told me some things. Secrets. Secrets that nobody has ever said to no one. Mm. And he said to me, you know, one day mm. a friend of mine called me and said, mm -hmm. Why did you go to that house? Mm. Mm. I said, what is in that family house that you know that I don't know? Mm. My father said to me, oh, your previous great-grandparents, mm -hmm. they were merchants. Mm. They used to make a lot of, you know these people who buy salt and things and travel yeah. to other countries to go and sell. So they were mega rich. Mm. But according to the old people, mm. when they went in this trading, mm. They brought in some things to protect them. Mm -hmm. And one of such things I noticed when I was very little was a tree they planted in the family house. Mm -hmm. What is the mystery behind that tree? tree? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. But one of these old ladies went on her normal business. Mm -hmm. When she came back, mm -hmm. the tree has been hewn down. Mm -hmm. 
and she started screaming in the house, Aji, 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 I am dead, I am dead. So she asked, why did you cut the tree? They said, the branches were protruding into it's other family room. members' uh -huh. windows. Uh -huh. That is why we cut it down. She quickly ran into a room, packed all her things, and ran out of the house. Bishop, as we speak till this day, never come she home. never came back again. So what is the purpose of What that is thing? the purpose of that? When That's she was true. going, the elderly people ran after her and said, what is the mystery behind this tree which is making you run away Nobody because knows. it's been cut down? Nobody she said, knows. underneath this tree, I have buried the destiny of all the men right. under this tree. Right. Hey. I have buried the destiny of all the women under Jesus. this tree. <laughs> women who marry, they will give birth, but they will come back to the family house. But as for the men, they will not prosper. Hi. See, 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 what, Jesus what Brother Alfred is saying. Hmm. There was a young girl who came to our church from Sandema, Ghana. There's a place in the northern part of Ghana. She listened to me on the TV, and I mentioned that there's somebody you are watching here. All of your father's house, they bury your umbilical cord on a particular mm -hmm. tree. Mm -hmm. The girl just called, and she came, and she called her Jaraja and brought her mm -hmm. to the church. And do you know, she said, Papa, all of us, in America, in Germany, mm -hmm. wherever we are, when we have a baby, we have to send the Amleka call to the village. To the village. They bury it under the particular tree. Mm -hmm. Why did they have to bury it under a particular tree? That's a purpose. You are watching me now. Mm -hmm. That is the system we are talking about. Mm -hmm. You didn't know this thing. Mm -hmm. My spiritual father was preaching last year, and he said something that struck me. Mm -hmm. He said, even the land that we were born, if there is an altar, eh, evil altar there, and they bury your placenta there. You are under a curse. Mm, mm. It shook me. Mm -hmm. It shook me. Mm -hmm. He said, placenta is part of you. Mm. Yes. And they bury it in the curse mm -hmm. land. It shook me. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. In your father's house, they bury human beings there. They don't bury them in cemetery. Mm -hmm. Everybody was, is buried in a cemetery. But a particular man died. Mm. He was buried in the house. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I was in Tema two years ago or three years ago. Myself and Pastor Ennis went to a house and we anoint there mm. and smoke was coming from the land. Jesus. This is not a dream. Physical smoke was coming. Uh, mm, mm. The first question I ask is that has they buried anybody? They say all the witch doctors, we buried them in this room. Mm. Mm. And they opened a room to us and I saw a skeleton sitting there Jesus. where they pour like basically feed the skeleton. Mm. Uh, skeleton. Skeleton. Pastor Ennis Adati. His church. I'm telling you. Mm. Now listen here. I want you to call the number. Mm -hmm. Maybe in your compound they bury human beings there. Mm. Maybe there is a tree they bury your America called there, mm. the whole family. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's a system to program you to follow the patterns of the family. Mm -hmm. Hello, you know, Doc. We have a very very small minutes here. Yes. And there is this question that is is in my mind. I want to ask you before Brother Alfred spoke. Now this is very very important. Why is it that in our culture mm -hmm. they program? the system always to get something from us or to get something from the altar to us you see the barrier ground they say bring money and put it on the coffee mm -hmm. you see um uh, uh, people that has died they are going to bury the 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 the, the body mm -hmm. they say put a ring mm -hmm. inside the coffin mm -hmm. they say put handkerchief inside mm -hmm. the coffin yeah. Can you explain it to the people, the understanding? Maybe somebody has done it before, they have to call for us to pray and mm. break the soul time. Yes. The question is, why do they ask them to do yes. such things? Mm -hmm. Satan, I told you the other day that mm -hmm. Satan ha is in the business to profit from evil. Mm -hmm. And when he gets the results that he is looking for, then he is happy. Mm -hmm. His enterprise is to get you to violate God's law. Mm -hmm. If you can break the ordinance, mm -hmm. then automatically the curse will come to you. Mm -hmm. So one of the ordinances they will tell you to do is to take a ring mm -hmm. and put it in a coffin. Mm -hmm. Take a, uh, uh, something precious about the family and mm -hmm. put it in a coffin. Mm -hmm. When my father died, they asked the family mm -hmm. to go and cut his testicles mm -hmm. and send it to his village. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, no, no, impossible. Absolutely not. Wow. 
they want you to violate God's ordinances, mm -hmm. violate it in such a way that it will invoke immediately a curse. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, because of ignorance, we do it as a custom, mm -hmm. we do it as a tradition, yes. we do it as part of mm -hmm. our system, mm -hmm. without realizing that we are engaging in an occultic practice yes, right. that is violating God's word mm -hmm. and automatically bring a bringing a curse onto our lives. Mm -hmm. And yes. whenever you violate the word, of God, you enter into their system, mm -hmm. yes. and yes. God pull Himself out. God pulls ah. Himself out. The glory out. is departed. The glory leaves and they you. Take over. They take mm. over. Mm. They take over mm. because they get you to do it by your mm. own hands, mm -hmm. by your own words, mm -hmm. by your own will. Yes. And they ask you to do it. Say this. Mm. Do this. Do that. And as you do it, mm. because you said it, because you did it, you have committed it yourself to the process. Mm -hmm. And God moves away. The Holy Spirit moves away. Mm. Angelic protection departs, you and know, the demons take over. When they take, if they would have succeeded taking the testicle or the manhood. They speak of the productivity. Productivity mm -hmm. of like all the, the men in the family. Yes. Yes. yes, and they took it, and yes. they took their destiny. Yes, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like the question I ask: If you gave a ring to mm -hmm. the dead body, mm -hmm. it speaks that you have married. You are married the dead body. The dead body. There is a, a marital covenant, covenant between the living and the dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. There are certain people, they dream, they see their fathers that are dead, mm -hmm. their mothers that are dead, mm -hmm. coming to have sex with them in the mm -hmm. dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It speaks of the covenant mm -hmm. in, in, in Isaiah chapter 28, verse 18. Mm -hmm. He said, your covenant with dead and your agreement with hell mm -hmm. shall not stand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how did you marry the dead? And the living should have nothing to do with the, to dead. Do with the, dead. the dead. If you are sleeping, having dreams of your dead mother visiting you all the time, mm -hmm. you must pray and break it. Yeah. Your dead mother should pass on and go on because to glory. They shouldn't have any conversation with you. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 from 8, 9, 10, and 11, mm -hmm. he said those who practice the Kromasa yes. are abomination to God. Mm -hmm. yes. So when you go and you begin to give a handkerchief mm -hmm. that my dead mother I don't have anything. Take this handkerchief and you get to the next well, wipe your face. Uh -huh. you, are you are practicing, practicing the diplomacy. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to afflict you. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the question here, let me go to Pastor Richard because he says something very important concerning the blood, mm -hmm. which is very, very important. And one of the quickest ways witchcraft hold humanity to manipulate them yeah. is through the blood it's sacrifice. Blood. Yeah. It's through the blood sacrifice. Yeah. Wherever you go, there are certain cultures they they kill human beings there are certain cultures they kill animals there are certain cultures they kill birds and all chickens mm -hmm. now one of the things i have seen mm -hmm. in our culture is every festival or whatever they do masquerade whatever after that they do something called covenant meal mm -hmm. and everybody comes and eats yeah. mm -hmm. now what is the importance of that eating and how how does it affect the people mm. uh, Covenant meal mm -hmm. means that all the people that came to that festival yes. are bound to that altar. Okay. Mm. Now, like you say, mm -hmm. now in our festival they have fed, they have something they, one of the days they call it quickly. Mm -hmm. Now quickly means it's a food. Mm -hmm. Now if you are there on mm. your own day, you cook quickly and eat. It's, it's normal. Fine. It's fine. But on the day of the <laughs> celebration, they have invited spirit mm -hmm. into the house. Yes. yes. So once they prepare that meal mm -hmm. and they sit down and eat, it mm -hmm. means that they are re-initiating everybody mm -hmm. into the covenant. Mm -hmm. So you eat it and go back to wherever you are, Europe, America, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. But once again, you have been brought into yes. a covenant. Yes. So that covenant at that altar will speak wherever you are, mm -hmm. and it will continue to your children. Now, now that's very, very important. Now, Pastor Bola, listen here. Yes, sir. One of the easy access for which God to manipulate you, Jesus himself says something that it is the thing that enter you that defile you. Mm -hmm. yes. In the book of Proverbs chapter 23, verse 6, he said, do not eat of him that have an evil eye. That's mm -hmm. right. Like Pastor Richard is saying, mm -hmm. The food they present for the people to eat, mm. they give it, they, they, they consult it, they pour libation. Mm -hmm. yes. The blood of that animal, they pour it on the altar face. Mm -hmm. And the people eat the flesh. Mm -hmm. So the life that is speaking mm -hmm. from the animal mm -hmm. is on the altar. Yeah. Yes. So as you are eating the flesh, you are eating the voice inside mm -hmm. you. Yes. Could you explain to somebody the effect of contamination in our mm. body ah. what is the what, how has this contamination deposit evil affect our body mm. the contamination the altar 
Definitely. Mm -hmm. By giving you that food mm -hmm. as exchanged, mm -hmm. your virtue, mm -hmm. your substance, mm -hmm. your treasures. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by the destiny. virtue? What do you mean Every by the virtue? Ah. All the good you, things, I said, the good I, I, qualities, me, the I'm characters. A, I, am, I am an affirmed place boy, so <laughs> if, if, if you don't break it down, I may not understand the word virtue. <laughs> yes, sir. The virtue <laughs> simply means the good qualities, mm. character, your destiny, yes. your potential. Yes, your the potential that makes the you you. that will make you you. Mm. Yes, sir. So the altar has exchanged it. Mm. And so by putting the contact the point of contact inside you mm. is the contamination, pollution, infiltration. Mm. Pastor, on mm -hmm. the women's prayer chain, mm -hmm. there's a prayer point we have there. Mm -hmm. Since it has started since 2011 mm. on this bringing out contamination, yes. purging ourselves, cleansing mm -hmm. ourselves out. Mm -hmm. What does it do? Number mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are married, mm -hmm. That is the day mm -hmm. your husband will see you, mm -hmm. and maybe you press the toothpaste somewhere, mm -hmm. it will cause an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Contamination mm -hmm. will definitely bring mm -hmm. rejection, mm -hmm. will bring, mm -hmm. name it, whatever you lay your hands on, mm -hmm. the Bible says will prosper. Mm -hmm. But because you're contaminated, mm -hmm. it's a must. It's mm -hmm. the contrary that will happen. Mm -hmm. God forbid. Mm -hmm. Contamination, mm -hmm. it does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. In the lives of women, mm -hmm. sir, Papa, mm -hmm. I just want to major on the lives, mm -hmm. the life of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Contamination in us mm -hmm. is number one mm -hmm. hindrance mm -hmm. to the major, um, the major quality, the major um, things you are supposed to do in life. Mm -hmm. Number one, the key role is for you to be a helpmate. Mm -hmm. It stops you mm -hmm. in various ways. Mm -hmm. The man will not locate you. Or you locate a wrong man. Mm. Contamination, sir. Mm -hmm. It brings the wrong, mm. takes you in the wrong direction. Mm. The wrong people locate you. Mm. You are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm. You are in the right place at the wrong time. So you are saying that the moment the contamination enter you, you take wrong decisions. Mm. You take wrong decisions. People you make wrong choices. You. People reject you. Now, you make wrong choices. Listen to me. As Pastor Bola is saying, maybe you are going through the same thing she's saying. You dream you see yourself eating, it's contamination. Mm -hmm. You dream you see yourself being injected, it's contamination. Mm -hmm. You went to a place, they gave you food to eat, they gave you water to drink, they poured the further water inside you. They've done so many things against you. I want you to call the number quickly, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I'm opening the line, the line is open. Send me all the text messages. I have so many text messages now. <laughs> uh, there's a lady, there's somebody who is asking a question here. I just... Uh, Pastor, good evening. My name is Victor. Please, I need. Oh, I thought it's a, it's a question. I think he need prayer, um, isn't it? I need prayer over my life. I need direction, direction because I don't know where they, they have, have taken, taken my, my name, name or, or something, something that, belongs that belongs to me. To me. To me. <laughs> okay, I thought you were asking a question. Okay, Victor, we pray for you. Pray. We pray for you. Keep sending your test message. I have a lot, a lot, a lot. He just come. He just come. Jesus. He just come. He just come. I have a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm going to pray for you. We're going to read it and pray for you. Keep sending your text message. Your life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Doc, the, the, the last question I want to ask before we pray for people. Keep calling. Because the moment you call, we have able ministers that are praying for you. Send the text messages. Maybe you have gone to a place. They gave you something to eat. They gave you something to drink. They put a talisman on you. That's the question I want to ask now. Mm -hmm. That what is the purpose of this talisman, this amulet, this charm on a witchcraft system and contaminated from an altar we are talking about? See, the, Satan is a perverter of everything God has created. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his interest is to cause you to violate God's ordinance. Mm -hmm. We've established that. Mm -hmm. When God created the world, he mm -hmm. gave us two trees. The mm -hmm. tree of the knowledge of good and evil and yeah. the tree of life. Yeah. He said, eat this, mm -hmm. don't touch this. That's That's right. So God gave us specific instructions. Exactly. There are certain foods, he said, eat this, mm -hmm. don't eat that. Mm -hmm. There are certain leaves that if you will touch your lips right now, within seconds, you will die. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that are tolerable, other things that are not. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, mm -hmm. if you go to a certain coven and you go and give them something they ask for, mm -hmm. and you twist it, give them something different, whatever it is they are trying to do in the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. it will not work. Mm -hmm. It will fail. Mm -hmm. Why is it failing? Because mm -hmm. the token and the instrument of their trade is mm -hmm. not what you brought. Right. You gave them something wrong. They, will receive it they won't all. receive it at mm -hmm. all. They will reject If you are not careful, 
they will find you mm -hmm. and they will put a curse on you. Yeah. So these tokens mm -hmm. are necessary for their ability to empower their altar. Mm -hmm. it, they, they are very specific mm -hmm. to what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So And the tokens help them to do it too. Mm -hmm. So when you come to their altar and they give you such a token, mm -hmm. they have given you an instrument mm -hmm. that allows the altar to locate you, to identify with you, mm -hmm. to communicate with you, mm -hmm. and also to work with you. Mm -hmm. And so long as you have that token, mm -hmm. you, you by your will, mm -hmm. by your desire, by your interest, have allowed mm -hmm. the demons to come home. Mm -hmm. So a demon is passing through your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And they are looking for a place to rest. They are looking for an agent to use. Mm -hmm. They are looking for someone mm -hmm. to, uh, to empower. Yeah. Because of the presence of the token in your home, right. under your bed, mm -hmm. your house is targeted. Mm -hmm. The demons know where the friendly homes are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The absence of the token mm -hmm. and the presence of the tokens of God, mm -hmm. the Bible, the anointing oil, mm -hmm. prayer, worship music, mm -hmm. identifies your house that this house we cannot enter. Mm -hmm. When you read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 19, mm -hmm. when you get to 21, he mm -hmm. says that there is a certain cup mm -hmm. that you drink, mm -hmm. you have taken the token of the enemy into your That's house. Right. Mm -hmm. He said there is a cup you drink, you mm -hmm. brought, in, brought the token of God mm -hmm. into your house. Mm -hmm. He said you cannot drink this one mm -hmm. and drink that one. Oh, okay. So if you're a Christian, you mm -hmm. cannot go and take all these mm -hmm. amulets and these demonic tokens so, and bring so, it into your environment. So the purpose of this amulet or these tokens or this charm is to allow them free access free access into the, your you your open house. demonic gates okay you now, open demonic gates now, for demons brother, to brother come Fred, to you know you. the purpose of this token is to allow an open gate mm. for demons, demons to come to your house yes sir now that's why the bible said it real very clear we call it talisman mm -hmm. telephone mm -hmm. it's a, a form of com communication, communication. Yes, sir. Now, the moment it's open door for the demons to come to your house, could you look on this camera? I think this one is not working. So when doctor was speaking, it looked like he was uh, walking outside. Please, Sammy, make sure you organize the thing very well. Because when you look at when doctor was talking, it was not very read on the thing. Mm. Now, look at this camera here. Mm. What is the effect of these demons in your house? Mm. Bishop. Because doctor said, the moment the token is in your house, mm -hmm. because Bible says where your heart is, your property is there. Mm -hmm. Or where your property is, your heart is there. Yes, sir. If my money is here, my heart is there. Yes. Yes. So as long as they are token, they are totem, they are talisman, their system is there, they will come and visit you. Yes, sir. Now, when they come to visit you, what is the effect? The effect of their visitation yes, is numerous. <laughs> Your house now becomes like a magnetic force. <laughs> it attracts all the negative things of this life. Yeah. Okay. When poverty is passing by, it will come, it will come to your house. <laughs> when barrenness is passing by, it will come they there. will locate you. Spiritual marriage. <laughs> Spiritual marriage it will, will come locate there. you. Rejection. As beautiful as you look, mm. no proper man comes to you. Uh, all the drunkards on the side us. of the road, ah. you are the one they locate and they love most. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The men in the Mercedes with the big money, they drive straight. They don't look at you. The drunken men who don't have nothing, those are the men who always approach you. They waste your life. They waste your time. Everywhere you go, rejection. Everybody, like Doc said yesterday, you go to a supermarket, the lady is serving everybody nicely, smiling. Soon as you appear, where are you from? What do you want? All the negatives things of this life is what it come to your the house. tragedy of life mm. is what comes to your abode because i remember the, the bible said when jesus met the man who cut himself mm -hmm. only one demon spoke mm -hmm. but over six thousand demons were there, were there. Mm -hmm. he said how many are you who, who are you he said we are legion mm -hmm. only one person speak mm -hmm. so when the gate was open only one person entered there mm. but he allowed all his all friends all the friends to come to come there that's right now i'm going to pray for you mm -hmm. You are watching us now. You have been to a place before, an altar, which is a witchcraft altar. They've given you bath. They may take you to the water to bath you. They have taken you. They have taken your clothes. They have taken your name <coughs> through it. I'm not blaming you. You were looking for solution. Yeah. I've done it before. Hmm. But the reality is that doing it has, is over. But what effect are you seeing? Because of me, Jesus came to die a ugly death so that I'll have peace. 
because of me jesus came to pay the price that i'll have peace yes there are certain people they can't sleep in the night mm. demonic dreams zoo everything mm -hmm. a young girl came to me just now when we we're coming in their family the culture is that when you grow mm. they hold your hand mm. and there's a coffin there for your hand to pass through the coffin, coffin. seven times mm. hey. yeah. and every night they see she saw herself in the coffin, in the coffin. she saw herself dead and death, uh, death in the family. Young men are dying every time. Why? It's a system over there. Mm -hmm. I want to pray for you now. Hallelujah. I want to use these five minutes to pray for you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what is wrong with you. But the Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God mm -hmm. manifested himself so that he can deal with the enemy. Mm -hmm. in, in when the disciples said, Lord, teach us how to pray. He said, our Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. He said, our Father who art in heaven. One of the prayers, he said, deliver us from evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Luke chapter 4, the verse 18, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, mm -hmm. for he has sent me to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted mm -hmm. and to deliver you from your captivity. Mm -hmm. Bible says, How God anointed Jesus Christ mm -hmm. with Holy Ghost and power, power. who walk about doing good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our God is a good God. Yes. Yes. And he has purpose mm -hmm. in his mind mm -hmm. yes. to set you free by force. Yes. Yes. He said, For my name's sake. For my name's yes. sake. I will deliver them. Yes. I don't know who you are. I just want to pray for you. Yes. Call the numbers quickly. 0207-923-2549. 724-8804. And send me only text message. Don't call this one. Send me only text message. 0795070853. So that we can pray for you quickly. Hallelujah. When you call, be simple. Pastor, I also went to this place. I gave a ring. They gave me a snail. I was in spain with you mm -hmm. and i was praying i say god said there's a lady here mm -hmm. you have given a snail a tortoise and a chameleon, chameleon. Mm. and this big lady fell under down in the palm he said pastor they cook it for me and i ate it hey, oh. mm. i'm serious Don't all, three. Was there. Yes. all three mm -hmm. oh my god now it is not the meat no. it's a system it's to a program system. you to go slow that's right mm. Mm. whatever take people three years that's to do you will use it 30 years mm. Mm. If you put a snail here, you go home and come back, he has not reached here. No. <laughs> if you put a chameleon here and you put a dog here for them to run, mm. the dog will go and come back and come back and come back. The snail, the chameleon will be here. Mm -hmm. And the tortoise, the same thing. So it's a ma if you go to Ghana, there's a place called Alaba. Mm. Yeah. You see them selling, the only they sit on the train station, sell all this thing. Mm. If somebody is not buying it, would they sell it? Mm. No. There's a place in Nigeria, they call it Jankara Market. If you go there, you see people yeah, buy. Mm -hmm. Eh? There's a labato in Nigeria. Okay. <laughs> we have the place called Yankara Market. They sell all these snails and all those things. Mm -hmm. And people go and buy it. Mm -hmm. If it is not important, would they sell it? Mm -hmm. I want to pray for you. Start mm -hmm. calling the number. Amen. Yeah, Pastor Bola, read it. Oh. Yeah, Sammy, you can open the lines now. Let me pray for people. Yes, please. Pastor, please pray for me mm -hmm. and my family. For mm -hmm. God to get rid of the altars in our father's house. Mm -hmm. I got chronic kidney disease oh. and was on dialysis for five years mm. before I got transplant some months ago. Mm. God bless you all. Oh, uh, baby, put your hand, whether you're a lady or a man, put your hand on the kidney. Mm. Yeah, let me pray for you. Father, I speak in the name of Jesus. By prophetic declaration. Receive your healing now. Any blood from your system that they have used to locate your kidney by the blood of Jesus. I destroy it now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Is somebody on the line again? Hello. Yes. Hello. I'm listening to you, please. Okay. You know, the other day I called. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm listening, I do listen to you people anytime you people are having programs. Like, mm -hmm. what you just said. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. um, at um, uh, around 26 years, I have not gotten married. Mm -hmm. So a friend told me that, look at how beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. So, look at how beautiful you are. You are, you are not even up to you. are supposed to be going abroad and coming. Very beautiful. The people that you are more than, mm. they are traveling and coming. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. No husband was coming, you know, something like that. So, I had 26 years. So, this lady, I don't know, she just into, uh, took me to somewhere. So, immediately took me to somewhere. Mm. The person said he's going to collect some, some amount from me. He said I should give. Even she helped me in giving the money, self. 
<laughs> they went and bought like this chameleon you said <laughs> he just cut it and take rub me all over my body i mean the person he took me to he say is uh, his uncle they so use, after they, that listen here listen here they use the chameleon blood on you blood yeah Oof. so after that it's not up to um a week my husband came and did everything and took me abroad, not even to London or whatever. Mm -hmm. He took me to um, India, Asian country. <laughs> so we got married. After we got married, only three years, this marriage uh, um, Divorce. Uh, uh, stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I had a, a son. Mm -hmm. My son is 25 years now. Mm -hmm. So, this marriage, since that time, my husband has not come. I have not even gotten any husband again. Okay. So all this while, for a very long time, I'm supposed to be abroad. I came to UK. I look at my age now. I just I'm in UK. I'm based uh, mm -hmm. UK now. You understand? So when everything is gone, when listen almost to me, every baby, hope is gone. Listen to me. Which yeah. part of UK are you now? In Bristol. Listen to me. I know you are in UK here. Yeah. Um, what they did to you is a serious witchcraft that has programmed your life mm. to go the pattern a chameleon you go, mm. and. Thank God that you even have a child. We need to do something for you. Take my number, it's the mobile phone, and when I finish, I want you to call me. You hear me? What time? Lord, we hold our hands. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. On behalf of this young, beautiful yes. girl. Yes. Whatever they are projected against this young girl, through, girl. The blood through the blood of this chameleon, of this chameleon. We, declare we declare it is cancelled. It is cancelled. May God yes. elevate you. Yes. Amen. 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 Please, when I finish, call me. Immediately you see me not on the TV, just call me. Hear me. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Yes. Good day, Pastor. Good day. Please join your anointing mm -hmm. to pray for my wife in the hospital mm. for a quick recovery. Oh. She has just undergone surgical operation. Oh. Thank you. Doc, please stretch your hand and pray for that young By God. the power in the, in the name, name of Jesus, power, Jesus name Christ, Jesus. we release the yeah, healing release of God power. into your life. Yes. Yes. Be healed Be in healed. Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen to me. I'm very, I'm very, very sorry. We can't pray for you again. We have very few minutes to go. This one is that she said she she saw a dream, and she saw a snake crawling, crawling over a leg over my leg. Please, sir, can you tell me the meaning of my dream? I dreamt of snake crawling over my leg. It's witchcraft. Snake in the spiritual realm represents witchcraft. Entanglement. And so you have to curse the snake to die in yeah, Jesus, Jesus, name. Jesus, Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now listen to me. On Friday, we are doing a powerful, powerful deliverance. I started it today. Mm. And if you see the anointing and the power that came today, we, we, we couldn't finish. We have to come here. Mm. So on Friday, I'm continuing the deliverance. We are going to use the blood of Jesus as a spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. You don't need to bring it. I'll provide the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a communion service mm -hmm. on Friday. Yeah. I want you to be part of this deliverance service. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm speaking a new book I'm writing about the altar of God. Mm -hmm. We have talked about demonic altar and we are talking about the altar of God. Mm -hmm. The essence of God's altar. Mm -hmm. The importance of God's altar. Mm -hmm. And we are going to use the altar of God mm. in warfare. Mm. Power will change hands. Amen. I'm excited. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is my numbers. 0207-923-2549-7248804. I'm going to stay here and pray for people until uh, 2 o'clock before I sleep. My mobile phone number is 07950-701853. And don't forget, uh, our conference is coming on and this Easter. Dr. Chiburu is coming here again. And please, this is Dr. Chiburu's newest book, How to Open Close Human Destiny and Destiny for Greatness um, by Tide. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this book. It will change your life. Amen. If you give us 20 pounds or more to help our TV program, I will give you this book free of charge. And this is the book I'm teaching from one of the best books you ever read, Containing Altars. And this is my newest book. This is my newest book. It just came only last Sunday. The... Uh, deeper knowledge about altism and witchcraft is so powerful. Get this book. And the determining voice, the voice that is determining your life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Jacob looked at the sun mm -hmm. and said, Simon, uh, what, uh, what, what's the name? Reuben, you are supposed to be my firstborn. Mm -hmm. Your life is supposed to inherit me, mm -hmm. but I'm going to determine your life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Get this book, it will change your life forever. Amen. Pastor, I shall give your number. Let's go. My number is 078 yes. 463 yes. 04 yes. 997. Repeat it again. That is 078 yes. 
463 yes. 04997. Please, Pastor Rich, what number is there? Immediately you, you call and my phone is busy. Call him and we'll pray for you. Pastor Bola, give your number, please. 07809 yes. 541 yeah. 218. Repeat it again. 07809 yeah. 541 218. Please use one minute to tell them how they can connect to you, the women program we are doing. And I yes. spoke to um, uh, 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 Sister Florence to go to the Ghana Textiles to get the clothes, the women's. Uh, uh, where ministry, for where for the conference. Yes. Pastor Bismarck's wife is coming. I spoke yes. with her. It's going to be powerful. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Yes, woman, we've got a um, fantastic program for you this year. Mm. We're planning a super conference for a whole week mm. in June. We're coming with the information after our April convention. Yeah. And we've got this women's prayer chain. We've got some um, daily devotionals. We've got an successful group which you can join with. Everything we do follows after the teaching of our senior pastor to educate you, to give you knowledge on how to really pray mm. and destroy the point of contact, any altar as placed inside you, and you'll be free in Jesus' name. So this Friday, Hallelujah. join us as we pray live. Mm. Women together at 12 midnight mm. on DM Radio. In Jesus May God name. bless you all. I'm coming to Germany, please. If you're in Germany, listen, I'm coming to Germany. I'm coming to Bremen from on the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. It's going to be powerful freedom conference in Pastor Charles Church in Bremen. Then from Bremen, I'm coming to Nuremberg. All the details are going to come on your television. Mm. This is the Bremen 1049. One seven zero three two three four five four one. I'm coming to Bremen Freedom Conference, and then I'm coming to Nuremberg. Uh, Pastor Amo is one of the great deliverance ministers I've ever seen, and the wife is a very good cook. <laughs> <laughs> the wife is a very good. When you do the the soup, I'm telling you, you pray in tongues. When the soup enter, you pray in tongues. Why I like going there is the wife soup. Now that's my number. Please take my number. Call me. May God bless you. Doctor Adam, may God bless you. Brother Alfred, may God bless you. It's good for us to sit down here and do this um uh, 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 discussion. discussion. Pastor Bola, God bless you. Come always. Pastor Rachel, God bless you. And God bless you as well for listening. Amen. On Friday is a powerful deliverance. Don't miss Friday. We are going to use the blood of Jesus. They overcame him with the blood. And power will change hands. God bless you. Bye bye. In 2013, it's time to take a battle to the gates of the enemy. This Easter, from the 29th of March through to the 7th of April, prepare for the gathering of the mighty with your host, Dr. Jones Dada Boateng. In spiritual realm, the power of the altar is the blood. That's right. Because for the voice of the flesh, flesh. flesh. is in the blood. And special guest speaker, Bishop Abraham Chigundu. Enemy will not stand on your way until there is something great ahead of you. It's time to go forward. Taking the battle to the enemy's gates. And recover all. Forcefully gaining access. Despite opposition, at Deliverance Outreach Ministries, 17 Argyle Avenue, Leighton, London, E10 7QE. Please call 0207-923-2549 for more details. Be there.